Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's Morning Cryptos. It is Saturday, February 3rd. I think it is day 34 of the new year and uh, the new challenge. It's not so new anymore. And uh, it's an experience that uh, I think as we get into it is going to be really important. Um, and I think it's going to really help us in the future to uh, take even more profits out of this market. That's my, my latest feeling. <laughs> so let's go into it. Let's talk about it. Let's start the music. Well, as you can see, Bitcoin finally almost hit the 200-day average. Um, and so, to me, I think that's a good sign. Hopefully, it won't go below that. But it feels like we are moving through the correction phase here. Um, and uh, I popped up the RSI so we could get that indicator as well. We are almost down to the 30 on the RSI. So if it does tip down below there, and it probably will um, in the next couple of days, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I did my usual thing where I Googled Bitcoin price, and it just seems like there's not much new um, here and so I just googled Bitcoin news and I got Bitcoin skids amid broad cryptocurrency sell-off that's Reuters Bitcoin is bottoming expect a 70% surge some trader I guess is telling CNBC that and then cryptocurrency market stabilizes after violent sell-off do you see the language they use it's it's hypnotic language people just so you know <laughs> all right so let's go to the voice of sanity uh, Joseph Young, and I think he makes some really good points, okay? Here he says, this was two hours ago, good afternoon, cryptocurrency community. This is a great little chart here. It shows Bitcoin uh, up 7.17%, and then all the others. It's a nice visual. Um, and this guy, uh, who Joseph Young retweeted, Emin Gun that's the right way to say it. For most people, this is their first big crypto market downturn. First, I'm sorry, but this high variance is why everyone loves these assets. They're not Union Pacific. They're not stores of value. They move up as well as down, just as much down as up. The question you're asking is why, and then you can read the thread. But uh, I was expecting or anticipating CNBC to say this was caused by the cryptocurrency market, to be honest. CNBC real-time, Dow Industrials down, okay? Dow plunges 500 points, right? So interesting. We were kind of, I was kind of expecting, I heard some little hints earlier, a couple of weeks ago, when, uh, you know, the uh, some of the powers that be, some of the CEOs mentioned, oh, you know, we're concerned about the cryptocurrencies taking the rest of the markets down, right? They're, they definitely will look for a scapegoat this time when their shit falls apart. And it's going to fall apart. Um, we are pretty, pretty on, on pretty shaky ground. It's a house of cards. So our entire financial system. So this was also helpful. Uh, important chart from Fundstrat shared by at Jerry10 first. Bitcoin experienced a 43% correction after recording a 556 increase in value. But the latter part, the 556% increase gets dismissed oftentimes. A massive bull run is always followed by a bear cycle. Look at the chart. Rotation. All right, six rallies, six sell-offs. Rallies up by 75%, sell-offs down by 25%. Okay, Bitcoin since mid-2016 has seen six bull and bear market cycles. In other words, what happens in years in Equity markets happens in months in the crypto world. All right. So really, people, we're not in a bad place. And it is a good time to buy. And we are probably ready to start moving again. 
And but the thing is that now I have I have the boots on the ground experience to know, okay, you know, when the next one starts, and it's gonna start because this is growing, because the word is going out about it out into the world and more and more people, your taxi driver, your barista, your bartender, your friends at work, you know, your college roommates, these people are all into it and you're going to see them making money and you're going to want in. But what most people don't realize is there is a process to learn. And that's what we're doing here today, every day on the Morning Cryptos is we're learning how to do this. Uh, and, uh, Joseph Young continues, it's really all about perception. You can look at this cryptocurrency market down 40% from its all-time high, or cryptocurrency market is up two times in the past three months. Whatever works for you. One thing is quite clear. It really could have been worse, and we'll see. All right, so, and he pointed out previously that the crypto market is still not at its three-month low. In November, the market was valued at less than $200 billion, which was Bitcoin's market cap not too long ago. All right. So, I think we're going to be okay. I, I feel encouraged by Joseph Young. I like cool heads. And again, the lesson is, let's not pay any attention to the mainstream media. All right? Or, or at least just use them as, like, bellwethers when they really get shrill. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to leave the RSI on here, so we're just going to kind of see if that has any relevance. Um I'm going to get rid of the volume just so we don't have too much in our faces. And I'm going to leave the moving averages on there um, just to see how we're doing. Okay, so we're going to grind through them real quick. Bitcoin Cash, still above the 200 because it doesn't have a 200-day average, um, but below the 100. And hasn't yet hit the 30 on the R side. And then B Bitcoin Gold, same deal. Has not yet touched the RSI, uh, the 30 on the RSI. I haven't used the RSI for a little while, so my mouth isn't used to saying it. Um, Dash has touched down to the 200 day, uh, and popped up a little above it, uh, and has almost hit the 30. I don't know if close counts, Still learning about the RSI indicator. EOS, uh, nowhere near the 100-day, nowhere near the 30 on the RSI. So EOS is really holding pretty well. Uh, Ethereum Classic, same deal, down to the 200. Not quite down on the RSI. Ethereum, little little boost back up in Ethereum. Uh, just right at the 50-day average. Not too bad. And again, expect a correction at some point for Ethereum if it keeps mooning, right? If it keeps rocking. I mean, that's... The question is when and how to get out before it drops, right? And that's that's why you got to learn. And that's you don't just know that going in, right? Um, IOTA tipped down to the 200 as well and... Really pretty damn close to the 30. It's at, it touched down at 31.5. Litecoin. Oh, just right on the 30 practically and right on the 200 day average. So we could be at a turning point, people. Let's see what's happening. Neo is still above the 50 day average. Still rocking. And it's really putting everything in perspective. Uh, Omise Go on the 100-day average, about at the 40 on the RSI. Quantum, right down on the 100-day average, still at the 40 on the RSI. So maybe Quantum's going to come back a little down a little bit more. We'll see. Um, and also, the 200-day the may start moving up to meet these as well. So that that's the other piece as this data begins to, you know, it's just a time thing. So, um, yeah, but ultimately, you know, the, the 200 day average is the real, is a much more reliable average, right? When it pops up above that, that's an anomaly, right? But if it, but the popping up above it begins to pull it up. So anyway, <laughs> 
the longer the trend, the better it is your friend. XRP, look at this. <laughs> I mean, that that was a serious pop. A serious pop. Uh, and it's and it's right on the 100 day. It hasn't, though, touched the 30 on the RSI. So uh, Zcash, right down, right down almost to the 200 day. But still, no 30 on the RSI. Okay, so interesting. Um, Cardano against Bitcoin. Doing fine. It's doing fine against Bitcoin. Cardano against the US dollar tether, just since I have the map here. And we have to go to a one-hour one chart to get a little bit. You know, and the one-hour chart is very different. Actually, let's see if I can do a 12-hour chart so we have enough data or some kind of chartishness, chartishness. On the 12 hour chart, we have hit down below the 30 on the RSI. Uh, we also have some green. We popped back up to kind of a major support level, you know, right here. It is right on, you know, kind of, it hit down here, it hit down there, and we're, we're snugging up against a decent support thing, and of course, just say no. I'm in at a dollar. I thought I thought that was a pause before it went up, right? But that's how you learn. And I'm gonna I'm hodling this. I'm not getting out. I'm just I'm gonna hang in, and that's a whole new experience for me. Is just hanging in, waiting for it come, wait for it to pop back because it's gonna. That's the thing we like about these markets is they do move. But you got to learn how to get the waves at the right time. It's surfing. Crypto surfing. We're crypto knots. All right. Uh, basic attention token. Just looking at it against Ethereum and looking at it against Bitcoin. Very different charts. Um, and I got to look at it on a... By the world way, we have a lot of green today, World Coin Index. And EOS is another number four. EOS is right up there. That's, I think, pretty cool. Uh, Quantum is still right up there. You know, so these are, Cardano's still pretty right up there. These are some pretty good projects. Uh, basic attention token is farther down. I haven't seen it yet. But a lot of green today, so we might we might have a little recovery day. Do, 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 do. Where the hell did basic attention token go? It's really far down. All right, there it is, 95. All right, so it's up 7% though. Um, and this is the one of the ones that I just I just bought some. Because I had sold all mine, and I liked the idea of buying it back low. I just didn't have anything that was up to buy it back, so I made a decision, and I, I used my NXT, which I bought with profits. And so if it was down, it was down in profits, and I figured, you know what? I really believe in basic attention token. It's something I can't hodl. I cannot hold on for dear life something that I don't believe in, right, or something that I don't care about. You have to, in order to hang in, you need some emotional energy to hold you in. And you need some beliefs. And that's part of the hypnosis of money. Um, or at least that's how I'm wired. So I'm glad to see Basic Attention Token might have made the turn. And uh, that's basically it, people. Just a check-in on a Saturday. Hope you're going to do well today and have a great day. I'm just going to get rid of the RSI here for a little bit, move it down. Let's get back to Mama Papa Bitcoin. And uh, let's let's jump into a one hour chart just before we say goodbye. And look, there's some green people. <laughs> there's some green. And uh, I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to survive. All right, so hang in there. I don't know when Chinese New Year's Eve. I don't know when Chinese New Year's is. Is it like Chinese New Year's Eve today, or is today Chinese New Year's? I don't know. I don't really pay much attention to the calendar. 
my calendar or anybody else's calendar. Uh, so that's it for today. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if uh, you like music, check out some of my other videos here on the channel. I will be uploading more and more music in the days to come. I've uh, been really kind of sitting and uh, meditating and thinking and planning on what's my next big thing. And uh, music has been my thing for 40 years, and everything that I've done has been about how do I honor this music in a way that I can live with sustainably. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, I've got over 500 songs that I want to preserve and record, and uh, it's a big project. And I'm going to start doing it a little bit every single day, just like I do a little bit every single day of the morning cryptos. So uh, that's my thing. And uh, stick around. There's more coming. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Have a great day. And thank you for all your comments. And uh, I think that's it. Start the music. Music.